In this video we are going to talk about keyboards, but not about the hardware. Today it's about the software. It's about a novel keyboard firmware project, the KMK. Most mechanical keyboards use an 8-bit microcontroller, typically an AVR. Most Arduino boards are also based on AVR. And the open source firmware projects like TMK and QMK are written in C language. This technology package just works, but we are in 2019 there are better microcontrollers out there. One problem with the AVR is the small memory. Another issue is the difficulties of the C language. But in my opinion, the big problem is the tool chains. Install compilers using flashing tools. There are some Arduino style boards that can run JavaScript and Python. These are interpreted languages. They are easier to learn, but the key word here is productivity. Using a higher level language, you can do more with less time and less red tape. Standard Python is to be run on PCs and smartphones. A microcontroller is much slower and has much less memory. For them, there is MicroPython, a version of Python optimized for embedded environments. Then then we have Circuit Python. This is a version of MicroPython maintained by Adafruit Industries. Adafruit sells Arduino style hardware and Circuit Python targets this hardware. On top of fulfilling a commercial interest, Circuit Python brings some innovation on usability. For example, Circuit Python board plugged to PC shows up as a pen drive. Just copy a Python program into this pen drive and it runs right away. To access the Python command line as well as to debug a program running inside the board, just connect with the USB serial interface included in the board. KMK is a keyboard firmware project. It is based on Circuit Python. This project is in active development. The maturity lies somewhere between alpha and beta and it still lacks some features, but it's perfectly usable. Hardware support is limited to a couple Adafruit boards that can run Circuit Python and have enough memory and I.O. ports, Feather M4. Express and Itsy Bitsy M4 Express. Trying to use any other board today is asking for trouble. On the other hand, if you like porting and are looking for some open source project to collaborate, that's your ticket. As of now, there is no mechanical keyboard kit with a Python compatible microcontroller. In the near future, the KMK project intends to publish a PCB layout. The shortest path to put KMK into good use today is the soldering iron. That's what I did. Bought an Itsy Bitsy M4 board and took one keyboard of my collection as a guinea pig. The natural choice was a keypad that I hardly ever use. This little keyboard already showed up in another video. It's a kit that I bought by mistake. It couldn't have the firmware updated, so it took a brain transplant, so to say. This time we did a second transplant. The keyboard matrix wires were soldered into the Itsy Bitsy M4. At this point, it was good to look for the documentation, check which which board pins could actually be used for digital I.O. Then it was the moment of truth. Check whether this jerry-rigged keyboard can work and whether KMK can work. Developing a keyboard layout under KMK is basically a matter of creating one file inside the folder user keymaps. In this file, you specify how the matrix circuit is connected and the keyboard layers. In this first version, the idea was test the hardware, so the keymap was the simplest possible. We can already see here that the nomenclature looks like QMK. If you have previous experience with KMK, you will feel at home here pretty fast. Of course, the code is more simple and clear. Cleaner. No macros and just one source file is needed. To install KMK, you can drag files manually onto the Circuit Python pen drive, or you can use Make, who does the job automatically and without errors. The file we had created changes name and location when it's copied to Circuit Python. It becomes the main.py at the root of pen drive. This is where the code starts to run. Once we confirmed the keyboard hardware was good, we start to develop the second version of the firmware. The objective was a keypad that could work as navigation pad, as a trainer for Morse code. Adding layers to the keyboard is that simple. Implementing the Morse code was more involved, since we need to capture keystrokes and change them on the fly. In KMK, the hooks are on key objects. For example, we hook the function layer changed to the keys that change layers, so we can change the LED color according to the layer. By the way, this layer key object named TO 
didn't work. There was a bug in KMK. A pull request has been submitted. Two other features present on QMK but absent on KMK were missed in the course of Morse implementation. Both made their way as pull requests as well. The details can be checked on my personal GitHub. As we said before, KMK is a young project. It will take its time to mature and this is an excellent opportunity for collaboration. Another potential source of problems is the circuit Python itself. At some point I had implemented the Morse code class in the same file we described the layers, but some strange syntax errors started to show up. They didn't make sense at all. Moving the Morse class into its own module made the problem disappear. I guess it was some interpreter bug. This is the price you pay for playing with bleeding edge technology. Well this little keyboard was just a test bed. It does work as a numeric pad but it's not something I would use daily. Next logical step is to run KMK in a serious keyboard, something that is useful in a daily basis. The next keyboard kit has already been purchased. It's an 80% 10 key less board. Naturally it comes with an 8-bit controller. It will take transplant so it can run KMK as well. As this new project progresses I will post new videos. See you then.